This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Razi Alkane and I'm back with another Toy Hacks review and... This video is about the Dinobots, Core Class Dinobots. Uh, we got the Toy Hacks set for them, to, uh, the whole Volcanicus. Uh, it's going to be different today because I'm not going to do... Because you, know, you can see we're not in our usual setup. Uh, because everything is already prepared to shoot the video and I didn't want to move the camera so I'm not gonna do a before video we took pictures of what uh, each robot and Dinobot and Volcanicus what they all look like uh, before the toy hacks so we're gonna just show you the picture as we are talking about the the, uh, the toy hack stuff and he's being funny so yeah so it's gonna be a little different because if I do a before and after of every single Dinobot it's gonna take like Three hours so anyway so thanks for coming by uh, before I do this I just want to remind everyone to check out DJC collectibles my sponsor a fantastic online store and at the end of this video you can get your 10% discount code for anything transformers and also don't forget to check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel something I'm very proud of and now let's roll the intro Okay, and we're back from toy axing and I have to tell you this has been one of the longest set I've done quite hard uh, because uh, it's all small things thank God there's no ID cows but it's really worth it I really had a good time my son is excited with all the new details um, yeah so uh, well let's start and now I know there's a picture on the left so I have to work only from the right or else it's gonna look terrible but you do have New decals here for the toes. You have one here, two here, one for that little part there, and then an extra one on this side. Not this side, but on, on, like all around it. You have one for the knee, one for the thigh, you know, same thing on the other side. Then you have uh, a little one here. You have a bigger one on this side. You have a, a whole new uh, gold chrome plate in three pieces. And then on top of that, they give you extra decals for uh, the uh, all the Autobot logos so that's what you get for Grimlock in robot mode and I think it works uh, I mean it matches kind of what I've got with my studio series 86 so looks really good slag here gets uh, a little bit of gold um, to go here you get a new knee decal looks pretty good a new mouth plate and then you have one here that you can add another Autobot logo on top of it you have this that matches the G1 and the Studio Series 86. I really like this one. You have some here, but you can't really see it properly. So we're gonna have to show that to you in dyno mode. And then for, well, that's pretty much it in robot mode, actually. Um, nothing in the back. That's why I'm not turning them around because it's mostly stuff for the dyno mode that you'll see in the back. So that's Slag. I think he looks really good. Then for Sludge, he still looks like, well, crap, sorry, he does. But you do have a enhancement at the toe and the, well, there's no knee or the knees are, it's super weird anyway. So this one here, you have small decals here at the waist. It's kind of hard to see, so there we go. You have a new bronze Autobot logo right here, looking good. And actually for robot mode that's pretty much it so not much yeah pretty much anything else is gonna show up in dino mode so there you go this is sludge after snarl has to be one of the tedious to do because of all the fins which will show in dino mode but I really feel like Hasbro said and you know what we like yeah, not Hasbro toy hack said we love swoop and snarl there's the two best and with Scar as well. They're the two best uh, Dinobots, so we're gonna give them thumbs and decals. And boy, did they deliver. So you have this that's gonna show more in robot and dino mode. You do have small enhancement here at the waist, uh, like the tie, and then you have a, a whole blue belt in five decals. Uh, this one here and this one here were hard to install because they go really deep into his crotch. You have a little decal here for the bicep. You have the Autobot logo. And, oh yeah, you have a little red here. That looks really good too. 
and then you can see some of the gold decals on top that's going to be because uh, you know they did the interior and the exterior and well you have a little decal here for the bicep but that kind of shows in dyno mode as well so we'll uh, keep it for that all right so uh snarl after swoop takes the cake like tons of decals um in 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 dyno mode and kind of robot mode too and very and a very interesting one so you have this decal here this here uh, look, one on the forearms shoulder uh autobot logo on the nose and then you have okay so i wanted to show this one in uh dyno mode but it i have to because they show you to do all the decals inside but you have this silver piece here right so this silver piece wraps around the joint so you have to place it from the outside first and you'll see all that in dyno mode but you have to place this one here start from here flip it around and then shove it in that little tiny slit here and that's hard but it works really well because it goes around the joint and it covers everything like one of the most impressive joint cover i've seen um so yeah kudos toy hacks that's a really nicely done set um he looks really good um and uh you're gonna see in uh, uh pterodon mode or pterodactyl whatever looks really good too and Scar, whom I think is already looking pretty good, but that's because we don't have any frame of references, so that's the first Scar, and he looks good. Uh, oh, he's a little back heavy, so let's, there you go. Uh, you have a decal here at the knees, crotch. You have two decals, the blue one, and then a red one to go around it. You have a, uh, a abdomen decal, I guess. Uh, Autobot logo, you have this here, kind of a scaly decal. So that's pretty much it for robot mode. So final look at Scar after the decals. Dinobots transform! So Grimlock in dino mode, you already have... I'm going to need to put two hands here so it's going to look a little weird with the picture, but sorry. So you have the um, little enhancement that we saw on the arm, but now you have a new one underneath here. Uh, kind of hard to apply, well not hard, but you know, tedious because the arms don't move. Uh, you have the uh, the gold stuff that translate. And then on the back you have all this stuff that translate uh, really well. And uh, I think in Dino mode, Grimlock is probably the one that has less. You have the Autobot logo here. But most of the enhancement you can already spot in Robot mode and there's nothing really specific for the Dino mode. Uh, yeah. So oh, there you go, final look at uh, Grimlock after the decals. And Slag in Dino mode gets a whole lot of decals. Uh, mostly you get the whole crown in silver, even around the horn. Not silver, but chrome, looks really good. You get pin covers, I did not expect pin covers, love pin covers. And then you have this, but you do have the decals here and here that are gonna uh, translate from the robot mode but he looks really good that's very g1 and that's pretty much it yeah slag the original three they don't get many decals but can't argue that they look good all right final look at slag after and now sludge um he doesn't look much better for robot mode but you do have a, a bigger logo on the forehead and then you get some nice details around uh, the um, leg joint I guess uh, but this is all static so they don't actually move one here one here looks really good I like the chrome with details that they added here looks really good and then you have little announcement from the knees and you have this on top yeah looks he looks good I like it could use uh, you know an, an upgrade kit actually I'm getting the DNA design kit for this guy because um, there's a lot of gap fillers so. all right so final look at sludge after uh, snarl that was fun no it's not but look at all the details like all the pins are chromed now uh, the fins on top but there's also the uh, the interior interior sorry of every even the small ones here you know so that's kind of overkill 
Uh, you have uh, the Autobot logo, you have decals here on top, you have this here, that uh, looks really good. Uh, all this now is decals, uh, so you have one, two, three, four, five decals uh, to add more red, so that looks good. The little uh, elbow decal here translates well. You have two decals on top here, and I know I'm probably, on this one I'm probably missing something. Uh, Oh yeah, toe decals. I don't know why, but they give us toe decals right here on each side. Yeah, sorry, I'm blocking the light. Oh so, yeah, lots of details. I mean, the toe decals I think are a little overkill, but he looks good. He's still the best looking one of the bunch, except for maybe the next one. And swoop here. Um, without the guns because I want to capture the full glory of this guy uh, you get a new logo here all right and then you get three decals on each side for the wings and they're very detailed very nice very G1 uh, you have this that translate from the legs you have this like under the feet so he's gonna walk on those so be careful you have four little red decals. They're not even pin covers. They're just straight up enhancement. So that looks really good. You have the chrome underneath of the wings. Looks really good. You have the joint cover. Look how good this looks. And it doesn't, when it flaps, it doesn't peel off uh, like sometimes it does. So that's a really, really nice enhancement. I'm really happy with uh, the look of this guy. And uh, so is my kid. So there you go, final look at Swoop after. And Scar. Scar um, gets uh, a... <laughs> took me a while to figure out where this went, but look at that. There's a whole chrome uh, plate on his face with an Autobot logo. It's super reflective, super shiny. You have uh, those two little pin covers here. That looks really good, I like that. You have a slight enhancement here on top, uh, on both sides. On the side, you get those mechanical scales. Kind of looks like a brick wall, really. So, that's pretty neat. And what else? That's, oh yeah, well, you have what we had on the legs here. Uh, translate at the, the you know, midpoint of the tail. So, yeah, he looks really good. I mean, the fi oh yeah, and there's a small one here. Uh, right there. Looks uh, really good, too. So, all right, I'm trying to get the light in properly, so. But these guys are so tiny, I'm working in a different uh, kind of way right now, so. All right, so final look at Scar after. And now let's go for Volcanicus. Okay, and for Volcanicus, well, there's no specific decals for Vol Volcanicus. Except the eyes, they used to be red. Now you have the choice of uh, blue chrome or uh, another red. Uh, my kid chose the blue one and I think that's the right choice. But you have all the little enhancement from the dinosaurs pretty much everywhere that shows up in uh, especially the red line here that I forgot to mention on soup because it was on the interior, now it's on the exterior. That looks really good. Uh, you know, the, the chrome joint, uh, you have some decals here from the uh, uh, sludge, and then you have little enhancement uh, from um, Snarl, um, you know, it's just little things that gets added, but it's pretty cool, you know, the arm uh, look, uh, you know, there's a couple more enhancement, Swoop gets a ton. You know, so it, uh, but it's just the, the only uh, Volcanicus specific decal is for the eyes. And he looks really good. So there you go, guys. That's going to be my review of the Legacy Core Class Dinobot. Uh, I know it was a little unusual with the pictures on the side and everything, but I just wanted to give you a good image of the before and after uh, without taking too much of your time. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, love reading those. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.